All right, well, he predicted when virtually no one was a Donald Trump win. Now, American University professor Alan Lickman has another surprise in store for those happy to see that he's headed to the White House. He might not be there that long. Um, professor, very good to have you. You, you. you think there's a very good shot he, he, he could be facing impeachment. Explain That's this process. Yeah, now this is not a scientific prediction I based on my system. It's my gut. Two things. One, Donald Trump has played fast and loose with the law his entire life. We know he ran an illegal charity in New York. We know he made an illegal campaign contribution from that charity. There's strong evidence that he used the charity to settle personal debts. Strong documentation that he broke the Cuban embargo when that was a serious crime. He is facing a civil suit for racketeering on Trump University. It's possible that one or more of those 12 women who have accused him of sexual assault could launch a civil suit against him. And remember, it was the civil suit by Paula Jones that opened the door to the impeachment of Bill Clinton. He faces other civil suits as well. And so he also has opened up a real possibility of some severe conflicts of interest by one, turning his business interests over to his children, which is in effect, of course, keeping it all in the family, and then secondly, requesting top secret security clearances. Secondly, uh, the Republicans may well prefer, and they control things right now, to have Mike Pence. Donald Trump is a loose cannon. He's unpredictable. He's uncontrollable. Republicans like control and order. Mike Pence is a totally predictable, down-the-pipe Christian conservative Republican, kind of an ideal president for the Republican majority. But they would Congress. be shooting themselves in the foot in that scenario, wouldn't they, Professor? Because uh, Donald Trump's fortunes would, would, would potentially be that of those of the party, right? Well, y y yes and no. It, it depends upon exactly what if there was a strong case for impeachment and this could look like not a cynical move for the party but a move in the best interests of the country and uh, whether the Donald Trump coalition such as it is can hold another four years is really very much in question particularly considering that uh, he did lose the popular vote and by the way Neil we're seeing a sea change in our politics where the popular vote and the electoral college vote are being severed because Democrats pile up such majorities right. in New York and California that don't count for anything in the Right, and then so in that scenario, the Democrat would always be in a position to pile up the votes. Now, you could argue, I guess, that, that, that if we had a system based on trying to, to win the popular vote, candidates would behave differently and the results could be different. But back to this thing that, that you were ahead of people and saw Donald Trump getting elected, and now you raise something that's a little more on an esoteric level that could doom his presidency or, or bring up impeachment proceedings. But wouldn't that have to start with presumably Democrats? I know what you're saying about Republicans who see him as a loose cannon, but normally what gives the other side oomph is uh, the other side in control. Well, well that, that's right. And uh, however, I'm not saying, you know, he's going to do anything comparable to Watergate. But if right. you look back at Watergate, obviously Nixon resigned to avoid certain impeachment and certain And a lot of conviction. that was based on a cover-up more than the crime That's itself. Right. Right. But I'm, I'm not talking about the issue. I'm talking about the dynamics politically. What doomed Nixon was when Republicans turned against him. Right. And when Barry Goldwater and Hugh Scott came to him and said, we can't hold Republicans, that was, uh, of course, the beginning of the end for Richard Nixon. But so would it be a case, kind of though, Professor, where stuff that happened years ago uh, as in his business days comes back to haunt him in his White House days? Uh, wouldn't there be more likelihood that if it does come back, it would be after he leaves office? Well, who knows, you know, what it is and what might come back. Look, if right. it was something before he was president, this would pose a fascinating constitutional question. Can you be impeached for actions you took when you were not president of the United States? An ambiguous point. When Jerry Ford, back in the 60s, was trying to impeach Earl Warren, he was asked, what is an impeachable offense? And he said, whatever the United States House of Representatives decides it is. Hmm. Well, we'll watch very, very closely, but... Um, fascinating stuff. Alan Lickman, American University professor.